crazy. So how is the gas prices going to affect you as a delivery driver? Are they going to have any effects? They're going to slow you down? They're going to keep you from delivering? Stick around and we're going to talk about some facts. So as of this morning, President Biden added more sanctions onto Russia. One of which is the oil and gas imports from Russia to the United States. And that is going to drive prices up. How much? I don't know. But I do know, according to Forbes magazine, that uh, the United States imports 3.5% of its oil and gas from Russia. So that is going to have a pretty substantial effect on our gas prices. So are we still going to be able to make money even though the gas is going up? I did a little calculation and I, I just based it on my vehicle. I get about 15 or so miles to the gallon. The highest place I've seen it here in Wichita Falls, Texas so far is 399.9 so we're gonna say four dollars okay at four dollars a gallon and if you get about 15 miles to the gallon that means the gas is going to cost you about 27 cents per mile now that don't sound too bad but you have to consider that's the wear and tear on your vehicle oil usage uh tread wear on your tires and of course your time but uh, we all know in this kind of job you really I, well me personally i don't really count my time i mean i know my time is valuable but uh i might can make a hundred bucks in one hour and then it may take me all day to make a hundred bucks so time's irrelevant you know it's it's your actual money that, that your cost your overhead but what are the gas prices going to do to you? So far, for me personally, 27 cents a mile is not going to really slow me down any. Even though I only get about 15 miles a gallon. You're doing great if you have one of those smart cars or like a Prius or you get 20 miles a gallon or better. You're, you're going to save a little more. Put a little more in your pocket instead of the gas pump. Just logged on to DoorDash for my first order. Chick-fil-A, $7.25. Sounds good, right? About 12.2 miles to go along with that $7.25. At the gas prices now, nope, no can do. Can you? I was driving, but this is about my fourth order. 5.8 miles for $2.75. Does DoorDash not realize the gas prices yet? They really think, I, I really hope that you're not one of those folks that are going to be taking these offers. You really need to do some calculating. I mean, yes, you can still make a little money doing them. I'm not saying you're going to be in the red, but if you do very many of them, and depending on what you drive, you're going to be in the red. It's a lot of wear and tear, a lot of miles for little pay. So what's your plan? Is your plan to keep doing delivering, the gig work, the roadie, uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, whatever it is you're doing, do you plan on continuing doing that? And what if it jumps up to like out in California? Can you imagine that? I think somebody said, oh, it was on, uh, it was on UDM. Anyway, somewhere I've seen a sign that said it was like nine something, almost ten dollars a gallon. Now I know in a lot of California spots it's running about six fifty a gallon. Last I heard, but I don't know where that sign was. It was at ten dollars, Sacramento maybe. I, I'm not sure. But anyway, are we going to be able to make any money at that? And if you don't think you are. What have you got planned? Anything? Now, see, this one's not bad. And if it, 
Let's see which McDonald's it is. Okay, I will take this one because it's at a good McDonald's. It is $6.50, not that great, but it's 2.8 miles. First one I've taken out of... Head north toward Kemp Boulevard. About seven. So they was probably fixing to put me in time out again. Hmm. But anyway, what's your plans? A W-2? So I was on my way over here and I heard a commercial on that Get Upside app. If y'all are interested in that app, I'll put a link to it down in the description. But I personally don't use it. But I understand in some areas it's worth using. It's just not worth using in my area. Our, we have too many stations that are too close together that have a huge difference in the prices. And the prices that you can get using the Get Upside are either even with these cheaper prices or they might be a penny or two higher. So, for me personally, in my market, it's not worth using. But it may be worth using in your market. If you can save a nickel a gallon or a dime a gallon or whatever, by all means, do it. Because uh, a penny saved is a penny earned. And that's why I like this McDonald's. Most of the time... The orders are ready most of the time not all the time but they're a lot more dependable and efficient than the other mcdonald's here in wichita falls sorry if you work at one of the other ones it's probably not your fault it's probably your co-workers fault i don't know hey i was thinking about something else too that might help you and uh that is that uh gas buddy and I'll put a link to it down in the description as well. You know, that way you can see in your area who has the cheapest gas. You know, there's no use in driving around trying to find the cheap gas. It's not worth driving across town to save a nickel. Not if you live in a bigger town. It's going to cost you more than that. Well, you're going to save a couple of dollars. You're going to drive all the way across town. But if you're out already doing our type of work then uh, you're probably going to be passing those places at some point. And don't wait till you get empty. Make sure you keep it at about a quarter of a tank or so. Go ahead and get more gas. Because what if you're in an area where the gas prices are high and you get down like I have where it says nothing, just lines. It don't say 20 miles left. 15 miles left in it says nothing so don't do that what, what's that other saying do as I say not as I do <laughs> no do as you want to but I would recommend putting more gas in your car when you get down to about a quarter of a tank you never know you might get a big order that's going a long ways and you don't have time to stop and get gas and do this and do that so, plan ahead. Man, I tell you what, them McDonald's french fries sure smell good. I just can't hardly eat them anymore after I had my sur throat surgery. Take the next it's hard to swallow. To but they smell good. That had a 250 hidden tip. 450 for 1.9 miles. The mileage is good. But it's just too far. No. The mileage is good, it's just not enough pay. 450? Not today. Well, I think I found the solution to the gas consumption of a large vehicle. Y'all check this out. <laughs> that would work. You know, you could put a little basket there in the middle and maybe one on the back. I don't know. Anyway, I got super busy. I love it when it's like that because it was been non-stop. The only drawback is I didn't get to uh, say goodbye to y'all for today. So I'm going to do that now.
Y'all keep smiling, dashing, dancing, prancing, doing whatever it is you want to do. Just make sure you keep doing something because you're going to grow old if you don't. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.